all right guys so let's get deeper into this tutorial so in the previous tutorial what we have done we have created the vault we have created the functionalities for withdraw and deposit and we have created the empty uh, vault creation capability in order to receive the tokens all right so let's get deeper into it um for flow based smart contract there are three things that uh, we have to understand first is smart contract code all right so this is the smart contract code that we are developing but uh, there are two ways to interact with the smart contract all right so first one is to create the transaction so if you want to um, write something into the smart contract for example you have to transfer the tokens mint the tokens or do something else into the smart contract then transaction is the way to do that all right so that's the second thing and the third one is that script the script is for used for reading the smart contract so for example you have the vault um, and you want to check the balance of um, the user how many tokens um, anyone is holding so for that uh, we use the script all right so for this tutorial um, we will take these three into account first one is smart contract second one is transactions and third one is scripts all right so um, unlike other languages or other smart contract platforms the cadence is very is developed as a very secure language um, and uh, anything that you have defined here um, cannot be accessed outside the smart contract all right so for that we have something called interfaces all right so let's move forward and uh, i will try to explain as we develop um, the interfaces so let's have the three interfaces first one is pub resource interface Or provider all right so these are the resource interfaces that means that um, whenever whatever is defined in this vault this cannot be accessed outside the vault so we have to give some permissions uh, for example to check the balance uh, or do some transfer functionalities we have to give some functionalities uh, outside the smart contract for users to interact with the vault so for that we use the interfaces all right so first one is provider the next one is receiver um, and the third interface the resource interface that we are going to define is uh, balance all right so let's uh, go into the provider interface and uh, um, so we have this function withdraw here but as i said previously um, the functionalities that are defined in the resource cannot be accessed outside the resource so we have to give the permission so in this provider interface uh, we will give the permission to use this withdraw functionality so the way to that is um, to have something like this withdraw um, and exactly same as that so i will just copy it and paste it here all right um, and in here we will do something like post uh, so what it does is that it takes um, result dot balance is equal to you fix 64 of amount all right otherwise um, it sends the message something like um, with draw amount must be same as balance of 
withdrawn amount. All right. Um, and something is missing. Let me see. Yeah, it's equality. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what it does is that it um, actually um, by writing this, we are telling the smart one type that, hey, we have this withdraw function, which is written in this um, resource vault. Um, and now we want to have access, public access to this function, but with this condition. All right. So what is this condition? This condition is um, the result, which is uh, creation of the new vault must have the same balance as the amount given in this withdraw function all right so this amount must be exactly same as this vault balance otherwise uh, you cannot use it so that is the condition that we have put um, and the next thing that we are doing is that we are um, you know linking it to the vault resource so we are telling now that we have this withdraw function but in which resource in vault resource all right so uh, the vault inherits now this um, interface all right so let's move forward now um, and have a receiver functionality similarly in the pop functionality uh, sorry deposit functionality so uh, we have this receiver and uh, we have precondition here so we had the post condition here after executing the function if it doesn't match then um, we have this error but here in the deposit we have precondition that from dot balance must be greater than 0, 0.0 all right otherwise send the message called deposit balance must be positive all right so um, this is the functionality that uh, we have this is the condition that we have that balance must be zero uh, greater than zero in order to de deposit and then again we will um, um, link it to the vault resource and the last one is uh, for balance so for that we have pop bar balance oops sorry you fix 64 so we already had defined this uh, balance here and we are just you know uh, giving access public access to this balance so that anyone can uh, see the balance of the user all right so uh, these are the three interfaces that we had created and now uh, we are good to go now we can use these interfaces in transactions and scripts uh, in order to use the vault we had created all right so let's meet in the next tutorial and create some transaction uh, to use all of the functionalities that we had created um, in the smart contracts. So let's meet in the next tutorial.